my name is Ajak Maut and I'm from technical team from Networkers Home. So as we all know, in the recently, in September 2022, the CH version 12 has been launched. CH stands for Certified Ethical Hacker and the version 12 of this certification has been launched. So today in this video, we are going to see what's new in the CH version 12. Okay, so let's begin with the video. So first of all, let's understand what is CEH. So basically, if we understand about CEH, CEH stands for Certical, uh, Certified Ethical Hacker. And this is a qualification that is provided by the EC Council. Okay. And this particular certification has been on the top for the last 20 years. And this has been creating hundreds and thousands of Certified Ethical Hackers. And those Certified Ethical Hackers are employed by the top companies, militaries, and the governments worldwide. So in the version 12 of the CH, if we discuss about the version 12, so there has been a new, a new learning framework has been introduced and that learning framework includes four phases. Those four phases are the learn, certify, engage and compete. Okay. So this is one of a specialized and one of a kind, one of a kind training program to teach you everything you need to know about ethical hacking with hands-on training labs, assessments, and a mock engagement as well okay and there will be global hacking competitions every month so you can compete with other hackers and improve your skill and gain more and more recognition okay so let's see about each and every phase that was new with the phases so if we discuss about the first phase the first phase is the learn phase so in this learn phase there will be five days of training and this will be covering 20 modules okay these 20 modules, these are similar with the CH version 12, I mean CH version 11. So you will also get 3000 plus pages of student manual and 1900 pages plus 1900 plus pages of lab manual. And in this particular learn phase, you will be covering 20 hand, 200 hands on labs with the competition flags means they are, these are the CTF challenges you will get. Then in this particular learn phase, we'll be covering 3,500 hacking tools or 3,500 hacking tools will be covered and you'll learn how to hack multiple operating systems like your Windows 11, Windows servers. In the Windows servers as well, you'll be covering the latest servers like Windows Server 2022, 2019, 16. Then also the Linux distributions like your, also the Linux distributions like Ubuntu and other Linux distributions and also the mobile operating system that is Android. Now this learn phase also includes the MITRE ATT&CK framework, the diamond model of intrusion analysis, techniques for establishing persistence and evading NAC and endpoint securities. Like you will be learning how to evade the IDS, IPS, firewalls and honeypots. As well as you will understand what is the fog, edge and grid computing model. Then once you complete the learning phase, you will go to the certify phase. So in the certify phase, you will be certifying and gaining recognition by proving your skills and how you're going to prove the skills. You have to take two exams. One is the CH multiple choice exam. So the CH multiple choice exam, it is going to include 125 multiple choice questions and the time duration for this particular exam will be four hours. The secondly, we will be seeing about CH practical exam means once you complete the CH theory exam, you have to take on the CH practical exam. So in this practical exam, again, this will be a six hours exam and there will be 20 scenario based questions. Okay. So you will have to take all those challenges and complete them within the given time framework. And once you do that, you will get your CH master certification, certified ethical hacker master certification. Then we'll move to the third phase. So in the third phase, you'll conduct real world ethical hacking assignments. Okay. You will implement whatever you have learned in your first phase. In the learn phase, whatever 20 modules and all the modules and all the techniques and tools, whatever you have learned, how to use them and how to hack, you will be implementing them in the ethical hacking environment. Means you have you will be given some assignments and according to the assignments you will be uh, you'll have to complete those assignments in the given time framework okay so on the virtual environments this is like a mock drill you can say okay so means there will be mock drills you will be given an environment business environment 
and then you'll have to practice your hacking okay so there you'll be applying all your five phases of hacking that are reconnaissance scanning gaining access maintaining access and covering your tags so again if i introduce these five phases in brief so we can say like reconnaissance, you're going to gather more and more information, as much information as possible about your target. So once you have gained the information, you'll start scanning their networks and you will gain even more information. Then finally, once you have done the scanning, you have found out the vulnerabilities. So you will try some exploits. Okay, you will use some techniques and with those techniques, you will gain the access to the environments. Once you gain the access, you will be able to pull out information. Okay, whatever information you want to pull out from that particular organization, or if you want to continue some further attacks, all those exploits and everything that will be done in the third phase, that is your gaining access. Then we have the fourth phase that is maintaining access because gaining access is not just sufficient. You have to maintain your access as well. Okay, so for, for maintaining access, you'll be using certain things like malware, trojans, backdoors, okay these kind of things you will be creating and exploiting them i mean implanting them in the target so that at a later point of time you can have access and you don't have to do, go through all the three phases again and finally the last phase is the covering tracks so in the covering tracks section you will be covering tracks like you will be removing the logs of your entries means whatever changes you have done you will be hiding those changes and logs generated in the system so you'll be clearing out the logs so that no one can or no one can catch you or you can say you can be hidden then finally we come to the fourth phase that is the compete phase and this is the most interesting phase because in this phase you'll get new challenges every month and this will be a four hour competition you will be competing with all the peers all the ethical hackers around the world and you will have to hack your way and you'll make it you'll have to make it on the top of the leaderboard because this is just like a competition whoever does first and whoever does better again more give more and more recognition so there you implement all your learnings and all your techniques and you show the entire world and the other hackers all your peers that okay this is your status so you gain more and more recognition and these kind of challenges include OS top 10 web application threat vectors, ransomware, malware analysis, outdated and unpatched software, system hacking and privilege escalation, web application hacking and pen testing, cloud attack and hacking, and many more. Basically, every month there will be a new challenge with a new theme. Okay. So means this will be completely, this is completely going to be new. So every month you are going to learn something new. And once you implement, so you are going to learn more and more. So this is the most interesting phase, that is the compete phase. So if we discuss in the learn environment, what is covered? So 100% virtualization of a complete learning experience is there. Okay. So once you log in into the platforms, because the EC Council platform, they are providing you. So after login, you will have full access to your pre-configured targets, your networks and the attack tools necessary to exploit. Means you will get everything. So Everything will be pre-configured like your vulnerable websites and unpatched operating systems, fully networked environments and your 3500 plus hacking tools, they will already be available in the in your dashboard. Okay, and you will be using over 500 attack techniques for the hacking purpose. Then the second, again, the certify phase. So this is about the exams. So you have to take two exams. One is the four hours multiple choice exam and second is the six hours with the 20 practical challenges. Okay, so you cover them and you get your CH mastery. Once this is done, so if you check about the exams, so these are the two exams, that is CH MCQ exam and CH practical exam. So the test delivery, you have to like the test format of your CH MCQ exam, it is multiple choice questions and CH lab exam or practical exam, you will have to move uh, visit the iLab cyber range. Okay, so you can take these exams and passing score if we discuss about passing score so the passing score of your ch mcq exam varies okay because this is knowledge based or skill based exam and ch practical exam you have to score at least 70 percent so once you take up both the exams you gain your ch certification ch master certification from the ec council and this particular certification is valid globally 
okay this is globally accepted certification and this is globally recognized certifications okay so once you get the certification you already have a recognition in the cyber field cyber security field then in the engage phase on your virtual targets on your mock drills you will be using all these four phases the phase one vulnerability assessment phase two gaining access phase three parameter and web app exploitation and phase four mobile iot and otf exploitation so in the phase one you'll be using techniques like your footprinting your reconnaissance scanning enumeration enumeration is what even gaining more and more information then vulnerability an analysis means finding the weaknesses and loopholes in the systems then we have phase two that is gaining access so in this phase you will be trying to hack the systems and you will be learning about malwares like how to create malwares for your windows and linux and other operating systems and also we'll learn about sniffing so sniffing is what sniffing is basically capturing some or all of the information traveling in the network whatever communication is happening okay you capture all that information that is sniffing then social engineering so this is also another mode of gathering information by coming in contact with the target then denial of service denial of service or in short it is known as dos so this is all again a popular kind of attack in the dos what you do if you means in the dos basically what we do we just flood the target with a lot of information or requests and we exhaust the target resources so that the target cannot function okay so when the target cannot function means even if the legit users the author authorized users if they try to access they will not have access to the services of the particular target server okay so that is denial of service so basically this is like bringing the server down itself then we have the phase 3 that is parameter and web app exploitation so this will focus on the session hijacking evading ids ids is what intrusion detection systems okay these kind of intrusion detection systems if anyone tries to get inside the network they will already create alerts looking at the information then we have the firewalls and honey pots honey pots are again these are the information systems kept on inside the network so that means these are to leverage or lure the attackers so that if an attacker tries to come inside a network they will already find something that is easily exploitable okay and once they try to exploit the honey pots then we'll already be alerted because we'll know that someone is already trying to scan the network or get inside the network then we have the hacking web servers so hacking web server means different different websites we know in today's world a lot of websites are running so we'll try to hack web servers and exploit the databases to gain the information of the users and then we'll be seeing about hacking web applications using xss and sql injection then the phase 4 mobile iot and ot exploitation this covers the newer technologies like hacking wireless networks hacking mobile platforms iot internet of things all the smart devices hacking them then ot hacking then cloud computing hack about the cloud environments and cryptography how to encrypt the traffic traffic okay so these things will be there in the engage you will be implementing all these phases in your phase 3 then this is about the compete phase so ec council has already launched this every month calendar so that each and every month there will be different different attack techniques okay attack challenges will be there okay so this is the <clears throat> you can say calendar for the coming challenges so every month there will be a challenge and all the ethical hackers around the world they will be competing to complete these challenges and gain more and more recognition so this was all about ch version 12 and what's new there's furthermore and we'll be discussing that in the part two so i hope this video was informative so if you like the video please like the video and do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching